Well, hello and good evening. Um, slightly different time of day for day four of my I've taken action, take action for September. Um, and my personal challenge of uh, developing my own fitness. Um, so some of you may know, but those that don't, I train in karate. So um, it wasn't so much out for a run, but it was an hour and a half spent in the dojo this evening which um, because we've been away doing different things it's been a few weeks since I've actually had an opportunity to train and tonight it was like most things taking everything back to basics and for those that have any martial, art, martial arts background um, of trained martial arts um, then obviously the basics are the essentials because if you can get the basics right you can build on them as a foundation in order to move forward but it's always a good reminder to go back to where you all started and physically and mentally um, it's always is quite challenging because um, not only are you trying to remember what you did and for some people that may have been four five six years ago um, for me personally it was you know two years ago um, when I started training um, but it's always good to be able to go through the basic techniques in order to enhance your performance, uh, correct your techniques, and, uh, and, and just be the best version that you can be at that point in time um, whilst you're training. So Sensei is absolutely amazing. Um, she really does uh, conduct the class um, really well because she's able to tap into where everybody is at any one point in time okay so for those new people that have joined all the way through to those that are black belts first second dance um, she's able to give advice and guidance which is most appropriate to them and for me I'm, I'm middle of the range right now um, so yeah we were doing things that we've done before drills that we've done before and equally um, tested some of those techniques that we haven't yet formally learnt um, but to give it our all and um, to give it our best shot so you know hour and a half later um, you can see my red glow again um, but having released all those endorphins I'm feeling quite good about everything um, yes I was able to spend hour and a half with my children as well again um, Charlotte she's uh, she's been training karate for about four years now and she, she achieved um, a black belt in the summer which we're super proud about so you know we're in line together but she's actually my senior um, and yeah I do bow down to her because I'm totally proud for what she does but it's a reminder that you know whatever your challenge is um, you can mix it up Okay, it doesn't need to be the same old thing day in, day out, and there's uh, there's lo you know there's loads of ways to skin a cat, as they say, the old wives' tale. Um, so if it's not running, it could be in the dojo, it could be taking the dog out for a walk, it'd be going to a circuit class, it could be going swimming. Um, so there's different options for me. But for those of you that have equally taken on board your own personal challenge, you know, what is it that you can do differently? to get you to where you, you want to be. Um, it doesn't always have to be the same beaten track. Um, it, it may work for some people and it may have worked for you in the past, but if you're now revisiting it, do you have to do something differently for you to achieve your own? Uh, something to consider, something to con you know think about. And again, if you wanna post any questions in the group, go ahead. I'm sure that either myself or Ian will be able to uh, support you through that, through your own personal journey or maybe some of the top tips from the other group members and we'd welcome you um, to engage in, in that manner. So there we go, day four, feeling tip top as they say. Um, thanks to everyone that I've taken learning from today. Um, it's been a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.